you're watching Pro Players Insiders. Luke, it's been an exciting day today. Who are you looking forward to see on the red carpet? Oh, just the guys right here. You know, Matt, you know, Matt and AJ are great guys. And, um, you know, you meet these guys at the Pro Bowl, you meet them after games, and it's, it's cool to see guys off the field and then you know how they really are off the field. It's, it's different. Guys are so competitive on the field that when you meet them off, it's just like they're every, every other guy. So, it's, you know, it's been a lot of fun. You've had an amazing season. What has been your most memorable moment? You know, I think, you know, the win we had against, um, you know, Miami, we started the game kind of slow. It wasn't looking too good for us. Um, we rallied in the second half. Camp took us down and scored at the end of the game. And we stopped. We had a big stop on defense at the end. So, I think it was just a whole, a whole team win for us, and it was an exciting game. Ryan Tannell, Marshall Falk. If you could ask Marshall Falk one question, what would it be? How did you do what you did for so long? Um, I evolved. I, first of all, I came in, studied hard, worked hard, and I evolved and changed with the game. And, and as an athlete, you know this. You get a niche, you find out what it is, you kind of stick with it, and then you don't want to learn new stuff. So whenever there was new plays or they asked me to do things that, that, that I maybe wasn't good at, I, I made sure I became better than I was before they asked me. Marshall Falk, what would you ask Ryan Tannehill after this amazing season? Um, what is life like playing in Miami? I played in the Midwest my whole career. It's great, you can't complain, especially this time of year. You know, it's 80 degrees, the whole rest of the country is in a polar vortex, so uh, you can't complain, especially you know, the last half of the year. I think everyone kind of looks forward to coming down to some warm weather, but we get to enjoy it uh, every day, so uh, I love it. Lauren Tannehill, who has the best outfit on right now? I, he's pretty G'd up. I think he'd agree with me. Marshall Falk is G'd up, everybody. I do this for a living. I look good for a living. It doesn't count. You can't do that. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Ryan. Kurt Warner, if you could ask your son one question, one question only, what would it be? I would ask him, who's the best quarterback in NFL history? Joe Montana. <laughs> Thank you. Can you sign an air Coach, you've had, your season was amazing. We want to know a few things about your team. The team clown. <laughs> oh wow, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, there's some really good guys on the team that really do fit, but uh, Michael Tolbert takes the cake. He's got to be one of the best. Most studious. Um, Luke Keekley because he looks like Hart Clint when he's got his uh, glasses on. The hype man in the locker room. Oh wow, uh, maybe D'Angelo Williams, you know, he's, uh, he's a talkative one as well. The, what was it, spiritual leader? Oh, um, Thomas Davis, without a doubt in my mind. And lastly, besides you coach, who has the best fashion swag for away games? Oh wow, um, that's a really tough one because there's a lot of guys that are very well dressed, but I gotta go with Cam Newton. Cam, last question, what can we expect from the Panthers this season? Well, I, I think uh, um, for us to break through to the top, I, I, you know, I really do think we can continue to be competitive. I think we've done some really good things, um, and I'd like to see us pick up where we left off. Alex Smith, my favorite Cardinals player, what would you ask Alex? Oh, um, what would I ask? How was the transition coming from San Francisco to Kansas City? Ah, that's a great question. Uh, you know, for me, it was pretty fluid because I played in the West Coast the last two years there in San Francisco and then, and then joining Coach Reed, uh, who runs the West Coast system. So there was some transition there. Um, but we were going to AFC. You know, I've been to AFC my entire career, so going over to AFC and, and uh, new division and new opponents and, and new history. Um, you know, all that stuff for the first time uh, was challenging for sure. Tell me about the most memorable moment this season. Uh, I think definitely just coming back and playing in the Chicago game, you know, been out 10 weeks and uh, having the opportunity to come back and I, I was just grateful to be back on the field and, you know, for the game to go the way it went. Uh, it, it was it, it was exciting.